Hi, this is Julie Carreri from EliteTutoring.ca. In this lesson, I will explain to you in brief the Capital Asset Pricing Model, or CAPM. This model shows the relationship between risk and return and helps us calculate required returns for securities based on their level of risk. The model is quite simple and is actually used in real life to calculate expected returns for securities. In finance problems, we are often trying to decide whether or not to accept a project. We use different discount rates, or required rates of return to help us make a decision. The CAPM model will give us that required rate of return that we use as our discount rate, and I'll explain more about that later. The model takes three variables into account. The risk-free rate, RF, which is the return you would get on holding, say, a three-month T-bill. Uh, we also have RM, the return on the market, which would be holding a uh, index fund for one of the major stock exchanges. Uh, and we also have the level of systematic risk, beta, um, and I'll explain more about beta after. Uh, for now, I'm just going to show you we drew out the security market line here, um, which shows return versus risk, which we all know is a trade-off. Uh, and I'm just going to show you the equation for this model here. So this is the return from a stock K that we would expect to get, and it would equal the risk-free rate plus the beta for that stock K times the market risk premium. The market risk premium equals the return from the market minus the risk-free rate, and that's because we, take, we would expect a premium return for investing in the market stock versus just holding our money in a risk-free asset. So I'm just going to rewrite this in the form that I would normally write it in, which is just that the return of our stock K would be the risk-free rate plus the beta for our stock K times the return from the market minus the risk-free return. Okay, so I'm just going to erase these other two since we don't really need them anymore. But you should know how to manipulate the formula into any form that you need it.